Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and we are going to write a program to detect human emotions using Keras that too in real time. So we are going to feed live feed from our webcam and then our model is gonna predict what is the emotion on the person's face and all the code that is used in this program will be available on GitHub. So I will give the GitHub link in the description. So do check that out. And now let's head towards Kaggle to download our data set. Okay guys, so you have to go to this Kaggle's page of facial expression recognition challenge and here you will get all the data. So you should download this file and since I have already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna download it again. I'll show you guys. Oh, where's the file? So this is the zip file and when we unzip, we get this CSV and some other files as well we are not concerned about these files only this csv file so either you can open this file and inspect or else we will inspect this file via pandas in data frame um, let's read something about this data frame so in this data there are 4 by 4 pixels grayscale images of the face and what they have done is they the faces have been automatically registered so that face is more or less centered so they have already cleaned this data and basically cropped the face part of the image and they have labeled all of them into seven categories angry disgust fear happy sad surprise and neutral so they say the csv contains two column emotion and pixels so emotion column contains a numeric code ranging from zero to six so one of the column will be our emotion and that will be something like 0, 1, 2, up till 6. So it will depict one of these categories, angry, disgust, fear. And then there will, will be another column, pixels, and that will contain a string surrounded in quotes for each image. So there will be a string of pixels, 48 by 48 pixels, and that will contain the representation of that image. Okay. Okay, so let's examine this data set via our pandas data frame. And before that, I want to tell you all guys about the dependencies that you need to install. So first is NumPy, then pandas, TensorFlow and Keras. So these are the dependencies that we will need for now. I think after that, you also might need to install OpenCV. Um, I'll talk about it later on, but yes, you should install open cv as well because we are going to do it real time so you will need open cv to take input from our webcam in real time okay so let's go ahead and import our system libraries which we will require um okay import NumPy, sorry, NumPy as NP. Let's save this file. So, what we are gonna do is save it in our YouTube folder. I'm gonna name it Emotion, emotion Detection. Okay, and now from Keras, we will be needing a lot of modules import sequential and then from keras dot layers import dense dropout activation and flatten and from Keras dot layers import on 2D sorry on 2D um, max pooling 2D batch normalization um, I'm not sure I'm gonna use this for now but just gonna write it average pooling 2d um max pooling is fine we don't need this file um, pooling rationalization okay um, and i'm gonna 
save from what do we need uh, okay from there are stop losses import categorical cross and copy and from keras dot optimizers import atom from keras dot regularizers import l2 and from keras dot utils import and p utils and then let's now read our csv file using pandas read csv module and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna print df dot info okay so let's run the program now the motion detection dot py and let us see what's there in our data frame so import name sequential okay maybe i have done a blunder guys let me just check okay i think this s is capital Check now. Hmm. It's taking some time. PD is not defined. So okay. I think I have forgotten to import pandas. Yes. Um. Did I tell in dependencies that we need pandas? Yes, I did tell. So import pandas. Let's now run again. Um, we are trying to look what is there inside this CSV. So basically with df.info we are going to print how many columns are there. And the detail of this data frame. Um, so it's taking some time because the CSV is really huge. I think there are around 28,000 um, training examples. Name df is not defined. Um, oh, sorry guys. As I said, our data frame is really huge. It is taking up some time to run. Um, till then, let me just check that out. How many images are there? So, as they have said, the training set contains 28,709 examples. Public text set for leader board. Uh, this is their other things, but this is basically a cause of content 28,709. Okay, so now we got the example. Um, now we got the result of our data frame data columns there are three columns in our data so one is emotion one is pixels and third one is usage so basically emotion pixels and usage and emotion contains 35,800 okay not none in 64 emotions type is in 64 as we saw there were um, zero to six they were labeled on um, the expressions were labeled 0 to 6 so it is an int 64 and then pixels is an object and usage is also an object basically i think that is a string containing 48 by 48 pixels and i'm not sure about this usage so let's go ahead and try to um, let us print some column that some rows in this data frame to get a more um, idea about it so now what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna print df dot head. Um, but first, what I want to know is this usage column. What is it? What does it contain? So I'm gonna say df dot usage dot value count. It will basically give me what kind of values are stored. So okay, I think I have not used this properly. Let's see now.
which should basically give me what values are there and the count usage. Um, I haven't called function, so I'm not sure what this is printing. Yes, so this is what I was expecting. So training and this many sample contain usage as training, then 3589 as public test and then private test. Okay, so we will take up this training and then for our test we will take this public test case assets. Okay, so let us start to code. Okay, let us see some values for some of the um, some row values in this data frame. So what we are going to do is we are going to say H and we are going to print it and let's see what rows are there. Just taking some time. Okay, so as you guys can see, emotion it contains 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 values, and these are 48 by 48 pixels. And then usage is training for all these, the usage is training. Okay, so now we got a basic idea of it. There is a emotion, um, emotion column which contains all these emotions in integer formats and then uh, there is a pixels column it contains 48 by 48 pixels and there is this usage training and public test and private test so we are going to fetch this training once for train our data and public test should test our data later on after we train it okay so now let me comment this out and um let us go ahead and define some of our values so basically guys um everything is done my kaggle team they have took the data they have took the faces of the persons with some expression they have cropped it and then they have labeled them that basically this is expression of angry sad or whatever so we have already got this data all we need to do is pre-process it a little bit so that it is useful and we can fed it to keras So I am defining four lists and one is x train then train y x test and test y so this is as per convention that I have written train y x train and so what we are going to do is we are going to go over all the rows in our data frame and then we are going to extract that if it is training if in usage it is training one so I am going to add it to my x train and y train and then if it is public test then I am going to add it to our x test and y test ok so I will say for index comma row n df dot iter rows um, so now what I am saying is uh, for row pixels that means in a row so this is going to give me the index and this is the row so in this row this column pixels because this pixel is a string that is separated by space it was mentioned in Kaggle data set also and just now we saw here also it is these all pixel values are separated by spaces so what we are saying is we are going to store them as an array we are going to split this pixels um, entire row based on this spaces in between and gonna store it in our list value okay okay so let's write it inside try block so if training in row usage so what I'll do is in our x train I am going to append np dot array val comma load 32 ok so what this means is if um, this column usage column value is training that means this is our training data set so in x train I am gonna append these pixel values that I um, took in this list so this list I am gonna append it as an np array 
and its data type is float32. So we are converting all this data in float32 because later on we are going to normalize it. We are going to um, take up the mean of all these values, um, subtract the mean from all the values and then divide it by its standard deviation. In that case, we will need the values to be in float32. So that's why we are upfront converting them to float32. And then train by, after this, we are going to convert this list to NPRA as well because Keras is going to accept them in NPRA format. So now I'm saying that um, if training is in row usage, it's train dot append np array val for 32 and just append this motion in train of y. Else, if we get public test in row usage, then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to append all those things to my test data. So I'm gonna say why test. X test and test Y. Okay, and let's catch this error. Except let's print the meaningful error. Error occurred at index index and row. row okay now um let's go ahead and print this x train train y x test and test and see what kind of data is there so these are all basically lists so this list will be having all the uh, pixels in an very format in each ray and this will be having all the emotion values so i'm going to go ahead and print um, sample data. What I'm going to do is send this go train and let's print maybe two rows of this list. Similarly, let's print all of these lists. So, Train Y test test Y okay now let us run our program because the data is little huge somewhere around 28,000 rows so hmm. till it's processing let's go ahead and <clears throat> um, now let us convert this all this list to NP array because Keras will accept only NP arrays as input and I'm going to convert it to float32. So you guys will see I already converted values to float32. Why I'm again converting it? Because it's like these arrays, they were NP arrays of an array. So entirely this array, I want to convert it to an NP array. And then train y dot a. Train y comma load 32 similarly I'm going to do it for x test dot array x test comma load 32 and then test y b dot array Comma 
float 32 so we are converting all these values to float 32 because later on we will be performing mean and standard deviation on this so we will normalize this data basically and then i want to define a bunch of um, variables um, basically um, okay before that uh, let me convert let me normalize this data so let me just say normalizing data between 0 and 1 um, let me comment this out okay and now what I'm gonna say is exit tray is equals np dot mean basically I am going to subtract all the values from the mean so that the average mean becomes zero of this entire data set run the axis zero and x train b dot standard zero and now we'll be dividing all these values by their standard uh, okay same way for our test data as well So now we have um, to mean and standard deviation. By that time, let's check whether these values got printed or not. Yes, they were printed. If you see, um, you can see in X train the sample data. We can see um, it's a list of NP arrays of this pixel. So you can see this is one value. Its type is flow 32. Then this is another row which is in array itself of all the pixels and if you say our y data set it is zero zero that means it is depicting one of the emotions so these um, pixel values are for suppose zero is sad so these pixel values are depicting sad as well as these 48 by 48 pixels are depicting sad value similarly our test data so all these pixel values depicting 0 that means sad and all these values are depicting 1 maybe if 1 stands for happy you can say happy okay now let's come back to our program now we have normalized the data now what we need to do is um, we need to do one more thing we need to reshape all our data so this x train data should be reshaped for now this is an array if for now you see this is just an array of all the um, what you say in each row it will be containing the pixel values but now we want to reshape it in a format that um, what do you say uh, keras is gonna accept so x train dot shape of zero that means how many rows are there into this training data and then we want it to be 48 by 48 pixels okay um, let me just define bunch of variables here instead of hard coding this values so I am gonna say some number of features equals depot number of labels is equals 7 batch size is equals um, 64 epochs um, let's take 30 
अगर हाइट इक्वल्स फोर्टी एट बाई फोर्टी एट बिकॉज दिस इज ऑल द पिक्सल वैल्यू ऑफ द इमेज इन आर डेटा सेट फोर्टी एट बाई फोर्टी एट सो वी आर टेकिंग दिस विथ एंड हाइट लेट्स नॉट हार्ट को दिस वैल्यू वैल रीशेपिंग आवर डेटा लाइक दिस So this is going to reshape our x train into um, this is the number of rows width and okay, this is height width the height of our image and then one that means one feature will be having this width and height that means one image that we fed is going to have this width and this height. Um, this is So now let's go ahead and okay. Before that, I need to do this for x test as well. I need to reshape my x test data as well. Dot reshape x test dot shape of zero comma width. Height and one. Okay, cool. And now what we want to do is now we are going to start designing our CNN in Keras. So now our first layer will be first layer. First, let's select our model equals. Model is sequential. Sequential. It's going to be a sequential model, and then model dot add con two D. So our layer is going to be con two D because our pictures are two D pictures. so this number of features is basically going to depict uh, how many output filters this con layer is going to have okay and now kernel size is something like uh, the filter size that we are going to superimpose on our images and activation function is going to be relu which is most often used And input shape is going to be train dot shape. Okay, when I say one front, that means um, here we have to give the shape of each of the only for one sample. So what it says is because this first. What's the first argument is going to give us the number of the rows, so we don't want that. Just we want to take, um, we want our program to read the values from here, width, height, and one. Okay, that is input shape. So we are um, removing the number of rows from its shape. So that is the input shape of the layer for one feature. So now model dot. Um, let's add this. Same layer again. Okay, activation is relu, and no need to give input shape now. Now what we are going to add is model. We are going to add a max pooling two D layer. And a pool size of two comma two strides two comma two. So basically, in max pooling, what happens is um, we pick up the maximum value from that pool, and then we form our output using that. So there is also average pooling layers where we take the average of all the values. So I'm gonna use max pooling layer, and then Add drop out. So we add this drop out. Uh, we randomly drop some of these things 
from the layer from the neuron from the layer so that um, our model doesn't overfit so now let me just early i think now no need to mention it. features kernel size activation is gonna be value and pool size 2 to strides to do and drop out 5 okay let's add one more convolutional layer this is also to add all these things to this third layer even. Three by three and here what I want to do is I want to double this number of zeros. I want to double this. Um, output filters so now match pooling to the pool size comma to strides now i'm gonna add now we are going to flatten our function and then we will be adding dense layers now number of features um, to, uh, okay so um, sorry. now let's add the number of filters as eight times our number features and then our activation function is going to be value and let us go ahead and add a dropout layer out um, this time I'll just point to and then one more dense layer and drop out and then I'm gonna add this is going to be our final layer so number of labels so these number of labels are uh, which we use to depict our emotions which will be from 0 to 6 so these are our number of labels that is we defined it somewhere right number of labels 7 okay 0 to 6 and then here our activation function will be softmax and not ReLU because we are doing multi-class classification so we want to classify among these six seven emotions which we want to predict one of the emotions now let us go ahead and compile our model model.compile loss is going to be categorical Loss entropy. This loss, this loss function is also used if we have multi-class classification problems, and it is optimizer will be Adam, and matrix will be accuracy. So matrix will be basically what our function is gonna generate while compiling. Now we will say model dot fit. train and y 
and then batch size will be our batch size and epox will be our epox i think we defined our epox to be 30 you guys can train it for um, more number of epox to get more accuracy um, to train it for around um, 30 box on my machine it took me almost around three hours on my mac machine so no magic air so as you can see it will take some time you can put it up for training and all can do other stuff till it trains and we'll say shuffle this data okay um now finally we'll be saving our model so that we can later on use it as i said we are going to um, from webcam we are going to take real time images and perform facial expression detection on it so we'll save this data so that we can just directly load it so face expression recognition json okay so now with open fpr dot json in write mode we are going to create this file and then we are going to say json file dot write fpr json then we gonna save our all our weights so that later on we can just load this model and do real time detection so now we'll run this program so that our program starts training as i said for around an epoch of 30 it is going to take around three hours or so it took for my machine so it might take some time so let us put it up for training and Okay, input shape positional argument follow keyword arguments. Ah, okay, this is line 69. So, in Python, we cannot call position arguments after default arguments. See, we are using kernel size activation, then we have to use name of this function as well it is our input shape is equals okay okay i have run a blender here cool now it's same error position argument follow keyword argument it's in line 71 tool size choice is equals model is about to train hmm. okay till then model is training I have written one more file video tester.py so I'm not gonna write it I'm just going to briefly explain all you guys basically what I will be doing here is first we are going to do face detection uh, we are going to take live feed from our webcam and then we are going to do the face detection so which part of the image is the face for that we are going to use face uh, har cascades and i have loaded this har cascade frontal face de default.xml file i'll give this link of this file in the description and it's basically guys i'm not going to explain all these things how detection is happening here i have one more video on face recognition and detection where i explain this in greater detail it's the same code so basically what you are doing is you are taking the image converting it to gray image and then you are passing it to our R cascade and then you will be getting the faces detected in it then what you are going to do is you are going to crop from that gray image whatever is the part of the image uh, whatever is the part of the face and then we are going to resize to 48 by 48 since all our training data is in 48 by 48 pixels and then we are going to convert 
this image to pixels and then we are going to add one more dimensions um, and then basically we are going to normalize this and we are going to pass it to our model to predict and then whatever this model is actually gonna predict it in probabilities so we are going to find which ones is maximum in probability and then we have created a tuple of emotions and then we say whatever max index we get here that is our predicted emotion and we gonna finally put it on our screen on this test image this is the predicted emotion and in this font okay so this is pretty straightforward this program video tester.py um, okay we have got some error in our emotion detection program Con2D can accept only two position argument, filter kernel size, but you pass the following position argument 64, 33, ReLU. And the line is 75. Hmm. 64, 33. 64th line. Nine sixty seventy five. Hmm. Really. Uh, okay. Um, what the error here? Drop out features. Really. And. Uh, Size drop out point five. Tier list con to the can accept only two question arguments filter and then answers. Just run and check what's the error now. And guys, I think we have missed one more thing over here that our um y array basically have to be in the format of um because we are using categorical cross entropy function so we will need to change our train y and test y accordingly so train y mp utils dot to categorical train y num classes are gonna be number of labels I'll explain you guys what I'm doing here basically uh, categorical and this is going to be our test y this is going to be our test y okay so show you guys to categorical function to get a go yes categorical. as you can see over here to categorical Basically, guys, we are having um, seven integers, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for train y. What it will do is it will convert it into matrix format. How it is suitable for the cross categorical cross entropy function. So it will be something like 0, 0, 1, uh, to test 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. If it is 3, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So 
likewise i'll show you guys an example of two categorical function not finding it here uh, and pay key of tells Okay, guys. So here examples we can see. Um, basically, this array zero, two, one, two, zero is going to be converted into so this is zero. So first one is one. Then here the value is two. So the second one is one. That way next it is one. So it is going to be zero one zero in its matrix format. It is going to transform this array into this. So our array is. Uh, numbers from 0 to 6 depicting emotion they will be converted into this matrix format so that is what two categorical does and now finally um, okay there is one more error the same thing line 46 not here line 76 let me check line 76 mm -hmm. I will give an situation Activation is equals okay means good. Let's start. Let's start. We have some error. Dense is not defined. Okay, there is some spelling mistake. On which line? Ninetieth. This is dense. Dense. Okay. Now training is gonna start yes it has started and also guys there is one more useful command model dot summary so you can print the summary of the model how many layers are there how many input parameters output parameters are there okay using model dot summary so after adding all your layers here you can add something like model model dot summary like this okay now training has started does going to take some time to train our model okay guys so the program is trained and as we can see the accuracy is finally 66 percent at the end of 30 epochs so i would recommend that you train this model for some more epochs something like 50 or 100 to increase its accuracy but for now lack of time i'm going to only um, train it for 30 epochs and it took me around three hours on my macbook air so it will take some time guys and now let's just run our tester file to check this is in real time okay yes as you guys can see okay so guys as you can see it's still not very accurate if we train it for some more time it will be fun but that's all for now and please like and subscribe this video if you want to see more such videos from me check our video tester program in real action so let's start it yes my webcam started and as you can as you guys all can see so it is accurately detecting happy and surprise features but i think it is fumbling between fear and surprise i think if we train it for some more epochs then its accuracy might increase but this is also pretty good 66 percent accuracy okay guys so that's all for this video and if you like this video please subscribe and like and comment below to receive more such updates from me